Hello and welcome to another LNER 377 video and today we're just going to have a look at a few wagons that I picked up quite a bit ago so let's just move them out of the way um, first we're going to look at this ARC Tiger wagon and I think this like contains like well it would carry like gravel or stones or things so Packaging is not really anything high tech, just a traditional back and sleeve. Um, and for wagons, the detail on these is very well, well, let's just say really good. Um, we're going to start with this end, and as you can see, we've got a warning view, no, a warning sticker of like overhead wires. And the buffers are really nice. We've got an a NEM coupler. A NEM socket. So you could take that out if you want. Um basically the most detail is on the under frame. And as you can see there is a lot of detail. Just for a little wagon. There is loads. Shall I try and zoom right in on that? Yeah, I can. But if I try to keep this still, it says WB4572 mm i.c.d. And min curve 650 meters. But that's just the curve it can go on. And there's even little rivets and everything. What's this say? Tiger Rail Limited, and that's just printed blocks just to pretend it's like actual real life writing. And then you've got like a ladder on the this end, and then another warning sticker. And then the axle boxes in yellow. And then the other side is pretty much exactly the same. So that's that's that done. So we're gonna put that on the track along with all the, all the three of us and pick this one up for twelve pounds seventy five at the um what was it now? It was the Great Central model. Um, model railway thing I can't remember what it was called but if you know what it was called basically yeah that's what it was it was a model railway show and I saw some great um, inspiration all layouts um, this is a tanker in AMOCO livery um, it's got a, a it, it's got a lot of detail again. TTA, that's the um, that's the name of these tankers. TTA, eighty two ton. And I really like the um, this beam and the buffer beam with the buffers on and that. Then at the end here you've got some ladders and the number of the tanker which is 58114. In danger, I bet that's no smoking or something. And then on top we've got like a mesh grill walkway thing to get to the um the thing on top where you put all the fuel in and the oil. Whatever you want to call it. Got the BR axle boxes again. And again... The um the bogey detail, well I say bogey, the wheel and underframe detail is very nice indeed. There look no naked light to be brought near tanker, which makes sense, doesn't it? And again it's got them couplers on the end. So that's that. And finally, we have the finer oil tanker, but 
I won't really go into much detail on this because it's pretty much exactly the same as the other one, apart from the livery of course. That scattered it. boxes all over the room. So this is the final one and you can see it's very nice. But the only difference on the under frame detail is the um, this red line on the axle box. I don't know what that is, but then we've got a, another mesh grill on top. Well, I say it's mesh, it's actually plastic, but it would actually be like a grill thing that you can walk on. Um, and that's pretty much that. So what I'm going to do now is um, connect all these up. Temporary tripod. There we go, I'll just move this on the floor. As you can see we've got a nice train of wagons. I need to get some more wagons really for my um BR um Royal Diamond class 47. So now we're gonna buffer up. This train hasn't been run in a while, so it's a bit, you know, jubbery. And now we're going to let it take away. Take it away, class 47. Bet the wheels are cleaning up. Whatever you do, don't derail. Because I know these derail really easy. Really juddery today. Reckon the wheels must be clean. Oh, 